Welcome to YSI Academy's mini production of William Shakespeare's Macbeth. This tragic play, set in Scotland in the 11th century, is about the downfall of a man named Macbeth. Macbeth has a serious flaw, ambition. The desire for power corrupts this once loyal and trusted general, and he becomes more and more despicable as the play progresses. Contributing to Macbeth's downfall are three wicked witches who, uh, who target Macbeth and fill him, uh, fill him with the promises of greatness and a very, very bossy wife who is hell-bent on her husband's becoming king. The play, scene one, a desert place. The play opens with the three witches waiting to pounce on Macbeth, who is returning home after winning a battle for his king. Not within the prospect. 
like a relief. Speed, but... We're already gone. Into the air, as bread into the wind. Your children shall be kings. <laughs> you shall be kings. <laughs> and Dean of Colorado, too. Good enough. So, who is here? King had happily received Macbeth, the news of thy success. He banned me from him, called thee Dane of Cardinal. What? Can the devil speak true? I'm Dane of Carter. If Charles will have me king, why, Charles may crown me without my stir. Oftentimes, to win us to our crowns, the instruments of darkness tell us truth. We must make honest trifles to, to betray us in deepest consequence. Causes over, I pray you. Let us turn the, toward the king, think upon what has chanced, and, and more time, the interim having made it, let us speak our free words each to other. Very gladly. Till then, enough. Come, friends. and announces his intention to have his son, Malcolm, to succeed him as king. Macbeth is convinced that he can only become king by killing King Duncan. Oh, worthy cousin, more in thy youth than more than all can pay. The service and loyalty I owe, in doing it, pays itself. Well, come hither. I have begun to plan thee, and you labor to make thee full of drawing. Go, Banco, that hast no less deserved, let me enfold thee and hold thee to my heart. Very five grow, the harvest is your own. We will establish our estate upon our eldest Malcolm, whom we name hereafter the Prince of Cumberland. my dispatch. 
we would speak further. Only look all clear. Leave all the rest to me. Is this a dagger which I see before me? The handle toward my hand? Come, let me clutch thee. I have thee not, yet I see thee still. Art thou not fatal vision, sensible to feeling as to sight? Or art thou but a dagger of a mind, a false creation? So marvels to me the way I was going. I go, and it is done. The bell invites me. Hear it not, Duncan, for it is a knell which summons thee to heaven or to hell. That which has made them drunk has made me bold. What has quenched them has given me fire. I have drugged their poison.